little kitchen and I am ready to make you some dessert. And yes, sweet corn. I am going to transform this sweet corn in a delightful dessert. I'm going to make sweet corn mini cheesecakes. Yes, you hear it right. This is going to be a super tasty sweet surprise. So let's just start having some fun cooking. And here I just finished taking all the uh, kernels from the cup. You are going to need like three sweet corn cups. And I think this is like uh, two cups of kernels. You can use frozen kernels. Just make uh, sure they are torn. And what we're going to do is put them in the blender, okay? This is super easy. And yeah, it, it's going to surprise you how good this is going to turn out. I bet you have never had sweet corn in a cheesecake. Well, this is all about, this is what cooking is about. About being um, adventurous, okay? And let me tell you about this recipe. Um, my husband is from Mexico. He is from Tamaulipas, a Mexican state in the east coast of Mexico. And over there, um, sweet corn ice cream is a very popular um, dessert. So why not? Why not use sweet uh, corn in a cheesecake if it's already used in, a, in an ice cream? I just blend all my sweet corn kernels and, you, and what we're going to do is strain this puree. We want to get all the sweet juices from the corn so that our cheesecake is smooth and creamy. And I just turn and push, turn and push, okay? So that way you're going to get all that deliciousness. And it's going to take you like five minutes. And I think this is one of those monotonous activities that I love about cooking. You know, it's so relaxing to me. I just uh, get so into it. This pushing and this turning is for me like, I know, meditation. So, let me finish straining this and we'll be back to mix or fill the cream crunchies. My sweet corn puree finished like a sweet corn fresh soup and what we're going to do is get ready our Philadelphia cream cheese that has been softened at room temperature and we are going to mix it with some low fat organic vanilla yogurt and I just like to strain my yogurt so at the time you take your Philadelphia cream cheese out of the refrigerator take your yogurt to drain the excess of water okay in a in a strainer so we add that up here and here i have um, a four of a cup of um, a sweet condensed milk i like to use it instead of sugar because um, it's going to help um, the, the cheesecake mixture be uh, smooth okay so we add that in throw one egg in there and we're going to mix all together so we want to add some one tablespoon of flour okay to add some uh, cinnamon and I'm going to add just a quarter of a tablespoon there is <laughs> A four of a teaspoon, okay? Uh, the cinnamon really complements the corn, really. A teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, so we mix that in. 
At this point, I'm going to just fold together this um, sweet corn uh, soup with the, with the cheesecake mixture, okay? Or um, cheesecake mixture, mixture is ready. And I just put it here in a cup so that it's easier to pour. And what you're going to need is a mini muffin tin with some mini uh, lime. And what I like to do is have ready some almond crisp like this. I just throw them in the um, blender and grind them. And you can use um, almond cookies, that is Chinese almond cookies. That will be a great um, cheesecake crust. And you just put some melted butter in here and combine and we're going to press this mixture in the bottom of our mini muffin so like um like a teaspoon what is a teaspoon this is a teaspoon so i already put the teaspoon in there and you press on the bottom just like that and then you just put some of your cheesecake sweet corn mixture after you finish putting the sweet corn cheesecake batter you want to put them in the oven at 325 degrees for uh, 15 minutes. I'm going to surprise you how good they are. Here they are. Let me try my recipe. Sweet corn mini cheesecake. It is delicious. You have to try it. I'm very thankful that you have you take your time to watch my video and I will see you. I will see you next. I hope I will.